15 Days Novena for Victory Daily Prayers Prayer 1 Father God, I come before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, praising you with all my heart, mind, and strength for the victory you have given me through Jesus Christ, my personal Lord and Savior. The Bible says that Jesus Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Therefore, sickness, disease, pain, suffering, poverty, and death has no power over me. I am now free from the law of sin and death. The Spirit of Christ Jesus dwells in me. My body is a temple for the Holy Spirit, redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. I am a child of the living God. I claim my victory in the name of Jesus over all the works of the devil. Satan, you are a defeated foe. I resist you in the name of Jesus Christ. I overcome you by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. I am anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit to serve my King and Master, Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, I give you all the glory, honor, praise, and worship. The Bible says you are Jehovah Nisi, which means the Lord is my victorious banner. I thank you, Father, for the victory I have in the wonderful name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer 2 Father, we thank you for making us see a new year. There were many that desired to see this new year but they were unable to. It is not that we are better than them or that we are more righteous than them. It's just because of your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your many mercies because they encompass us like a shield and protect us from the fiery darts of the wicked. We thank you for the many battles, seen and unseen, that you fought on our behalf last year. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to have the last laugh over our lives and that of our loved ones. We bless you because you are holy and righteous and faithful and your eyes are ever upon us. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. Prayer 3 Dear Lord, I pray that in this new year you will cause me to be in the center of your will for my life. Please do not let me stray from your presence, but rather Help me to keep my eyes focused on you. Let every step I take and every decision I make be in line with your will for my life. I pray I will be in the center of your will maritally, spiritually, in my career or business, and in everything I lay my hands on. Prayer 4. I pray for spiritual growth in this new year, that my spiritual life will not be stagnant, and that I will be a good ambassador of Christ. Lord, please show me the steps I need to take to grow spiritually. Open my eyes to see those things that I need to let go. And give me the grace to embrace what must be done for me to grow up unto you in all things. As I take steps to pursue faith and holiness with a good conscience, O oh Lord, Please back me up in Jesus' name. Amen. Day 10. Pray for favor from God and man. Prayer for favor with God and man. Father, I come to you in the name of your dear son, Jesus, my Savior, and the apostle and high priest over my profession. What I profess today is your word concerning favor in and for my life. Scripture reference, Hebrews chapter 3 verse 1. Like Joseph, I prosper in every place and in every situation because you, Lord, are always with me. Your presence brings with it your power, protection, and peace. I thank you for blessing me to experience preferential treatment everywhere I go. You raise up people who use their power, their ability, and their influence to help me in ways I cannot help myself. Scripture reference Genesis chapter 39 verse 1 to 6 in chapter 21. I choose to associate with those who are wise, blessed, and highly favored. 
Wisdom is transferred by association, and my association with these people promotes increase in every area of my life. Scripture reference, Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20, Genesis chapter 30 verse 27. You, Father, made Jesus to be seen for me, that I might be made the righteousness of God in him. As the righteousness of God, I declare that I am highly favored in your sight. Scripture reference, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21, Psalms chapter 5 verse 12, Proverbs chapter 14 verse 9. I operate in integrity and I seek to do good in your sight daily. As a result, I obtain your favor and I experience your best. Scripture reference, Proverbs chapter 11 verse 27 and chapter 12 verse 2. I walk in your word daily. Your word is the ruler by which I judge every decision. Your wisdom is the guide for my life. By seeking your wisdom and not my own, I receive your favor in every area of my life. Scripture reference, Proverbs chapter 3 verse 1 to 4. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 33 to 35. Your favor is life and it endures for a lifetime. Scripture reference, Psalms chapter 30 verse 5. My enemies cannot triumph over me because of your favor upon my life. Scripture reference, Psalms chapter 41 verse 11. You, Father, surround and protect me with favor like a shield. Scripture reference, Psalms chapter 5 verse 12. I am ready for this day, and I am confident that your favor will go ahead of me and prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Scripture reference, Psalms chapter 23 verse 5. Favor can do more in a minute than labor can do in a lifetime, and I have confidence that your favor is on me. I have great expectations for this day and for the rest of my life. Thank you, Father for releasing your favor over me. I receive it and walk in it daily. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm.